Namaste everyone, welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back again. Uh, we are going to stick to our simple uh, routine which is dynamic stretches, warm up and working sets. So without any delay, let's begin. So for our first dynamic stretch and the one which we are going to do is the greatest stretch, the usual one. Let's go. Four to five repetitions each side. We switch from one side to the other. If your legs are a bit sore because of the leg workout which we have done recently, it's okay. You might feel a little bit of stretch induced uh, pain which is basically feeling that restriction of the star, uh, scar tissue. It's absolutely fine. to drop down a little bit, feel that inner thigh stretch, move up, feel my upper back stretch. And that's it for our, just going to sit in the deep squat just for a couple of seconds. For our dynamic stretching, we now move on to our warm up exercises. For my first warm up exercise, I'm going to do the simple Y races. Grabbed a couple of easy dumbbells and I'm just, we have done this before, it's the usual, nothing different. Get your arms straight and now simply raise them up in a shape of V or your entire body basically makes the alphabet Y. So your arms are basically making the upper part of the Y. By raising up, you feel a good amount of contraction in your upper back. Your lower back muscles also fire up to slow down the weight while going down. Do 15 to 20 reps. Five more reps. That felt good. I'm just going to relax in the same position for four to five or oh, maybe 10 seconds and then move on to my, uh, you know, W races, they are called the W because your body then makes a W in shape. So pretty simple. This time, instead of your arms straight, you bring your uh, wrist up, elbows at 90 degrees, and then just raise up sideways. You feel a good contraction in your mid trapezium. Whew, that felt good. So that's it. That's all I need to feel my back all warmed up. Oh, that felt really good. We're now going to take a very short break, just 30 seconds and begin with our working sets. So for our, our first exercise, we are going to do the chest supported dumbbell rows. Today I haven't forgotten my straps so I'm going to use them. Now I have uh, chosen a weight which is quite challenging which is quite heavy uh, to lift a, uh, heavier weights while doing it alone is a bit of work because you need to uh, hold the dumbbells and then get into position so yeah that's there but I got my straps so most probably my grip, uh, my grip strength won't compromise my repetitions. So I'm just going to first get the dumbbells up and then get on the bench. Mm. 
Yep, as I mentioned, a bit of work, but that's fine. And you just have to make sure the bench is well placed. And without any delay, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the best part about straps. When you release, it just slips out. Don't have to worry about the release. Today, uh, you might have realized the reason why I start with the most challenging weight possible initially because of the strength I have to move the weight on my first set wouldn't be as much as it would be in the third or fourth set. So I was able to move a good amount of weight. Now I'll switch down a little bit to get, uh, to get the equal number of repetitions. For a short break, I have grabbed my next weight of dumbbells. As I mentioned earlier, it's a tough job to get the dumbbells in place when you're trying to work out alone and get onto a chest supported machine. But that's fine, I'll manage. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, those were heavy. Good set, but it's a good set. Take a short break, drop the weight a little bit, and then go for my third set. Set. it. We are done with this exercise. Take a short break, go for our second exercise. So for my next exercise, I am using two resistance bands to do the assisted pull-ups. I have realized instead of trying to do pull-ups or you know using one band and getting only few pull-ups, I am going to use two resistance bands. They are medium level resistance, so might be providing up to 15 to 20 kilos of support for my body so my target was to get as many pull-ups as possible and it went really well I was able to get close to 8 to 9 pull-ups on my first set and that felt good going through the movement though I had a good amount of resistance I was swinging a bit because I was I was trying this for the first time using a resistance band on both the legs if you do have a resistance uh assist, sorry assistance uh, pull up machine at your uh, disposal use that uh, better to get more repetitions by using a bit of assistance so for my sec first set went really well for my second set again same setup this time i am going to try keep my body a little bit more stiffer and tighter to ensure there is no energy leaks while doing the exercise my grip as you can see is just about outside my shoulder length uh, shoulder width so a bit of wide grip but not so wide i feel comfortable there i i do have long hands so i i, I don't like to come very close that gives me a lot of bicep activation so i go a little bit wider than my shoulder width helps me get more stretch in my lats so let's go for third set again back was feeling good a lot a good amount of uh, lat work while i was doing this exercise 
make uh, make sure if you can do pull ups go ahead do pull ups usual pull ups if you can load it and you have uh, you know uh, weighted vest or weighted belt use that it's always good to go progress in pull ups very good core exercise also because you try to keep a tight core to go through the motion my aim is to get back to weighted pull ups so let's see how it goes so i'm done for my next exercise i am going to do the shrugs for shrugs i use the straps the simple uh, wrist straps these are absolute essential for me because i like to uh, get more repetitions and i don't want my grip strength to compromise my number of repetitions so very uh, not very expensive to the i think they are only 2 to 300 rupees so indian rupees so, so that i use them when doing shrugs so that my all my focus is in shrugging as you can see uh, as you can see i always imagine trying to touch my ears with my shoulders using my upper trapezium the trap muscle i also tend to hold a little bit wider i don't hold it very close to my body if you are using dumbbells to do this exercise uh, that might be different and you might the dumbbells obviously you can't hold them away from your body they'll be near your body so that's absolutely fine but if you have a smith machine or a olympic barbell uh, try to hold them a little bit wider because to get that diagonal angle on your traps it's trying to get really good contraction and also it's trying to look at myself to see if i'm i can get more of squeeze so we are done with that exercise for my uh, last back exercise i am going to do lat pull downs i have decided to go a little bit heavier because i have done pull ups and i have done a bit heavier weights in dumbbell rows so i was going a bit heavier so for my first set which you can see on the left side and my second set i went a bit more heavier i only decided to do two sets of these and use a little bit of momentum to get the weight moving but made sure that the control is still there just getting few more reps out of it but it was a good good uh, it's a uh, good movement good set it felt really great felt stronger so that's it for our back exercises we'll finish off with static stretching so i am going to use the bench to place my elbows on the bench and knee down and slowly get my body as far back as possible while keeping my elbows on the bench and now simply try to lower my body weight down what is this causing is basically our triceps are connected to our lats so when our triceps when our arms are stable and straight and we try to push down our lats are getting stretched they are being opened up and they are getting stretched to finish off my static stretching i also will perform single hand uh, lat stretches this if you remember we previously used to do standing so we can do this while kneeing uh, kneeing down kneeling down sorry so you can simply just place your arm on the bench and drop your body or try to lean towards the hand which is on the bench for support and we are done and that's a wrap thank you for joining me today if you like the uh, like the workout definitely please do uh, like the video it gives me a lot of positive feedback if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel uh, that's again a positive feedback for me with more people following uh, there's more content which i'll be putting on as we go forward do drop a comment if you feel there's something i can do better or if you want to appreciate uh, my workouts in the comments uh so yes that's it that's it for today i'll see you tomorrow you have a good evening